हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फ्रीक्वेंसी डिवीजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग व्हिच इज कॉमनली नोन एज एफडीएम मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ कंबाइनिंग एन इंडिपेंडेंट मैसेज सिग्नल्स इनटू ए कंपोजिट सिग्नल्स suitable for transmission over a common channel so multiplexing is a process of combining n number of independent message signals into a composite signal so that it is suitable for transmission over a common channel or a single channel the technique of separating the signal in frequency domain is referred as frequency division multiplexing so the technique of separating the signals in frequency domain is known as frequency division multiplexing this is the block diagram of frequency division multiplexing system here n number of incoming signals are modulated by mutually exclusive carrier signal that is supplied from a carrier source at each modulator then the modulated signal is passed through band pass filter to produce ssb signal which is single side band signal these signals are separated in frequency and they are combined into a composite signal and this process is known as frequency division multiplexing the multiplex signal is transmitted over a communication channel with bandwidth n into fm here n represents the number of input signals so the transmitted bandwidth is n fm fm is the frequency of modulated signal so the transmitted bandwidth will be n into fm at receiver side n number of independent message signals are recovered by passing through band pass filter then these signals are demodulated using a demodulator then these signals are passed through the low pass filter then the original message signals are recovered the advantage of frequency division multiplexing is that a large number of signals can be transmitted simultaneously FDM does not require synchronization between transmitter and receiver and demodulation of FDM is easy this is about frequency division multiplexing hope you have understood the topic thank you